Hello everyone. Some quick updates from La Crosse City Government. It is a May 31st, uh, 2024. As you might be able to guess, I am outside, uh, well here at UWL, at the WIAA State Track and Field Meet. But we've got thousands of people here to uh, cheer on athletes as they compete uh, <laughs> during these, these uh, events here at the State Track and Field Meet. Uh, tremendous weather, uh, great crowds, it's, it's always a thrill to have this event here and really a testament to what a significant preeminent facility that is in place here at UWL. It's also, I mean, tremendously exciting because there's 20, 25,000 people that come to the city of La Crosse and the economic impact is huge, something like $4 million. But it's also really important that these folks come here, these young people come here, they realize their, their dreams and their aspirations and uh, really achieve great things all in the name of the spirited competition so a fantastic event we're, we're happy to have it here every year in lacrosse uh i do want to remind and as i mentioned it is may 31st today which means that tomorrow is june 1st which means that all of you who took part in the uh, uh no mo may uh, program to uh, help pollinators in our community thank you for that by the way or at least the pollinators thank you for that but tomorrow's june so it's now time to to cut your lawns I know it may seem daunting, especially for those of you who have let your grass grow throughout the month of, of, of May. There are some recommendations and suggestions and best practices on our city website at cityoflacrosse.org. Just click on the Parks tab, go there, and you'll see some recommendations for how best to do that. I, I mean, a, a, a sharp lawnmower blade is a really good place to start. Try not to think that you have to cut it all at once. Maybe make a couple of passes, uh, leave the cuttings in your lawn so that it adds uh, fer more fertilizer and nutrients to your lawn. There's a lot of more information. Again, it's on our website, cityoflacrosse.org. Speaking of parks, by the way, great opportunity to take care, uh, take advantage of some of the water amenities that we have in lacrosse through the parks department by going to Pettibone Park and going to the canoe, kayak, and paddleboard rental. So open every day, you can rent canoe, canoes, kayaks, and paddleboards right in Pettibone Park. So take advantage of that. And uh, if you're not sure about paddleboarding, Parks Department is also teaching folks how to paddleboard. So we do have classes on that. So maybe go to, again, go to our website at cityoflacrosse.org, uh, click on the Parks tab and see where you can learn how to do some paddleboarding. Should be a lot of fun. I do want to make mention that uh, I have heard from several people that are curious about how best to get information about what's going on in the city of La Crosse. Now, obviously you can see things that we post on social media, on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. And, and uh, you can always go to our website at cityoflacrosse.org. We, we have all the information there. When you're there, maybe sign up for the email updates so that you can get uh, the information from the city straight to your inbox. Uh, we also have an opportunity to use our, our app, uh, La Crosse 311. So a lot of good stuff there. If there is some other way, that you think you would like to be reached, let us know. Just let, let me know, contact me, and we'll see what we can do uh, to facilitate more information getting to you. It's especially important right now as we're getting into the budget season for 2025. So whether we're, we're, we're funding projects or whether we're funding services, we would like to hear more from you. Also a gentle reminder that as school is getting out, there's going to be more kids on the streets in La Crosse, getting from here to there, going to parks, going to summer activities. We just ask you to please try and be patient and look out for pedestrians and folks on bicycles. We want to make sure that we have transportation equity and access throughout, throughout our city. And part of that is providing a safe environment for, for children, especially to walk and to bike to wherever they need to get to. I really appreciate that. Well, that's about all for now. Be well, take care of each other, and we'll talk again soon.